Okay, so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to consider the situation when you're going down. Okay, so now in the down situation, again, two things can happen. Okay, and if you're accelerating. Okay, in the case of constant velocity, I'll consider in another little video. Okay, so if you're going down, I'm going to make the direction okay, down, down. And recall that in the up, when we were going up, okay, we could be accelerating, okay, if we're walking into the elevator and, you know, we start to accelerate going up. And then the other one was we can be going up and slowing down, okay? So the same thing can happen if you're going down. If you walk into the elevator, okay, you initially, okay, obviously it's not moving. And then if it starts to go down, it starts to accelerate. Okay, so speeding up. Okay, so here we're speeding up. Okay, so our acceleration. Okay, here is going to be positive. Okay, and now here, if you're going down and eventually, let's say, you hit, I don't know, the ground floor, okay, well, obviously, you're going to have to slow down. Okay, so here, this is slowing down. But in both instances, Okay, we are going down and here the acceleration is negative, okay, because we're slowing down, here it's positive because we're speeding up. Okay, so just like in the previous case, okay, what we have to do is when you're considering this and you want to see all the different forces, well, the forces turn out to be the same because, you know, your weight is still there. Okay, that's the same thing on both cases, so you still have W, and you still have, okay, a normal force, okay, so this normal force is exactly what we feel, okay, so this is, weight is what the elevator feels, because that's what you're pushing down with, and then from Newton's third law, we know that there is a normal force, okay, one which is the feeling that we observe, okay. Now, in the instance of speeding up and slowing down, going in the down direction, okay, we have to break this up a little bit differently okay, than what we did in the up direction. So, in this case, we're going down. So, down, I choose to be positive. Okay? So, that's the positive direction. If that's the positive direction, then W is in the positive direction. And the force of normal is in the opposite, so it's in the negative direction, okay? So we actually do a flip of the case of the up position, okay, when you were viewing that video. So we still have the same equation, so F net is still equal to mass times acceleration, which equals to, you know, all the different forces, dot, 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 okay, except in this case, okay, um, we have only two forces that we consider, okay? So in order to write out this equation and set it up for the down case, what you have to do is, well, F net is equal to mass times acceleration, and that is equal to all the forces, and there's two of them, and in the down, so if you're speeding up or slowing down, and going in the down direction. So I already mentioned that W, our weight, is in the positive. So here, this is gonna be W minus Fn, okay? And this equation is exactly the equation that you need to use, okay? In the case of going down. W, we can calculate. Okay, that's mass times gravity. Okay, so if we know the mass of the person, we know this. Okay, mass, okay, as I said, it's given. Acceleration, well, it's either positive or negative. If you're speeding up, it's positive. If you're slowing down, it's negative. Okay, and Fn, so we have A, and Fn is something you have to solve for. So this is how you would set up the equations for down. Okay, so going in the down direction, okay, either speeding up or slowing down. All right, okay, so this is another video, and I'll give you a couple more. 
just so you can see what happens in the case when you're not accelerating, okay? And then one with an actual example with numbers.